Okay, so we are at 291 Cape Town, and I am working on getting clarification if this lot is being developed. I believe that the answer is yes, but this is the home. I'm gonna apologize for the background noise. We have landscapers here today uh, in the property behind. But as we walk in, we have a covered front patio and a wood stained front door. We come in on porcelain tile floors. And so coming in the front door facing left, we have garage access. This is a single car garage. Your breaker panel is also out here as well. Okay, so looking forward, we have two options. We can go up the stairs or we have a nice open concept. So we have kitchen off to the right. Refrigerator would go here. Directly across from the refrigerator is a pantry cabinet. Good amount of drawers. Dishwasher on the end. Good amount of storage, granite countertops, tile backsplash, gas burning five, uh, five burner range, dining area here. We also have room for bar stools along this whole back bar. If I'm estimating, you could probably get four or five back here, no problem. We have under stair storage, but also a wonderful place to put all your jackets. We have washer dryer. We have electric hookups here. So just a recap so that we can keep up with the floor plan. We came in, this is a full overview of the kitchen, the dining space, and then I'm gonna take a step back so you can see how this is all oriented okay so that was the closet under the stairs and then this is your washer dryer with cabinetry above I'm gonna go ahead and shut this up this is electric connections by the way i don't see any place for gas in here yeah no i'm not seeing any gas so it looks like it is electric only and then we also have a powder bathroom for your guests to use. Granite countertops, undermounted porcelains, vessel sink. And then we have the back door. A little back patio here. And this is the HVAC, but a nice, easy to manage backyard. So tile floors throughout the whole first level of this home, which is really, really nice. So now we go up. We have a wood and wrought iron banister that's open to the kitchen and living room. Carpet on the stairs. We have a nice little storage closet here, great for linens. And then we have our choice of one of two bedrooms. We're gonna start with the secondary bedroom first. So oh, here, let me see if I can get a nice pan over. Okay. So we have two wall closets. I'm gonna open one of them so that you get a good idea of size, but they're identical. So wall closet number one and number two. This bedroom does have its own attached bathroom with a fully custom walk-in tile shower. Okay. 
toilet, storage above the toilet, mirror, quartz countertops, undermounted sink, black hardware, tile floors. And then this window is looking out into the backyard. And then for the primary, oh, and I didn't know, I don't know if I mentioned, but both bedrooms do have ceiling fans. This is bathroom number two. We have quartz countertops again, storage over the toilet, toilet, tile floors, and then the shower is exactly the same as the first. So this is largely unchanged. And then as far as the door style throughout the house, you have these two panel mission style doors throughout. And then this would be the other bedroom. And then this one looks towards the front of the property. And then this one has a very generously sized walk-in closet. with shelving, double hanging, and then long hanging for formal garments like dresses or dress coats. And then you also have this attic space here as well. It is wired to have a light, but this would be wonderful to sheet it with, uh, sheet it with plywood. You could definitely put like suitcases or totes. This would be a great place for um, some extra storage. So that about wraps this one up. I'm going to go ahead and upload this and get it over to you.